Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. We're going to do a demonstration to get day side by side with the Silver Nano and the Silver Black. It's not a versus, it's to show the difference between the two. Now, one thing I have to point out, from time to time I see these demonstrations where uh, somebody will take a dark screen versus a lighter screen and they'll say, hey, look, look at the difference. Look how bright and vivid the colors are, are on my screen versus their screen. Now let me explain something to you. When you take a screen that's designed to be a dark contrast screen and you put it against a lighter color screen, the lightest color screen is going to produce a higher white level where the black screen is not. Now if it comes to contrast, the black screen or dark gray screen is going to produce a higher contrast level where the lighter screen can't. Now with our TI-47 they're dark. With the Ultra 4K they're dark. And the reason why is because if you turn the lights on on these screens, these screens can basically absorb a ton of ambient light. Where if you did this with a lighter screen, you would have that problem. Now, with the technology we have here with the nanos, nanos don't have issues with the screen fading even if the screen is light. That shows you how advanced the technology is on our screens because we can do a light screen in a fully lit environment. Well, and you got other people out there who can't do that. They have to have that screen surrounded and cloaked in some form of darkness or a shadow-like environment in order for the screen to thrive. So I'm going to show you in this demonstration, we're going to do it side by side with the Silver Nano and the Nano Black. Now, like I said, keep in mind, a Silver Nano is going to be able to produce a higher white level because the screen is lighter. lighter. That's just basic colors one-on-one. -on -one. It baffles me when I see demonstrations of people going, oh, look. The color here is much lighter, much brighter, but here it's dark and dirty. Consider the fact that it's a black or gray screen, dark gray screen versus a lighter screen. It's just basic common sense. And someone takes a white sheet of paper and says, hey, look, this is supposed to be, no, no, no. A white sheet of paper is going to fade fast because if you turn the lights on, the color is going to fade. You're not going to get deep, rich color. I don't understand why people don't understand what deep, rich color looks like because when I see some of these demonstrations, and not to be rude to anybody, but the color is so faded. It's so nasty and so faded, I swear. I'd rather just get an HD TV and be done with it. But the color is supposed to be vivid, it's supposed to be bright. So, in this demonstration, we do things right. Fully lit environment, projector sitting 13 feet away from the screen. Or if you're curious what that is, we're going to be coding that nano black soon today. We're going to show you how to do this on a fixed frame screen using the nano technology. All right, so. First things first, uh, let's show off the difference. Now, like I said, with a black screen, you're going to have the whites are going to levels are going to be a little bit silverish, um, but with the nanos, they look fantastic. Um, with the contrast is going to be better on a black screen. Where bottom line is, if you're using a lighter screen as in the silver nano, the white levels are going to be higher, but the contrast is going to be fair. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so remove this first. All right, and all you can see, I can already see from the door what I'm talking about. As in the black screen, it's going to pick up more depth, more detail. The lighter screen is just going, it's going to, the contrast is going to be good. It's just not going to be good as that black screen. All right, let's begin. So you're going to get a more deeper, more richer color with a black screen. White screen, you're going to get a lighter, a lighter color when it comes to the screen because it's a, it's a lighter screen. It's just basic color code combination 101, or basic colors. I mean, all of us been to kindergarten, we all learned different colors and what colors mean, and when you mix them together, we all learned all this stuff. So when I see somebody trying to put up a wow factor because a dark gray screen and a light screen, where a light screen is producing better um, white levels, and that's what we call it, white levels, it's, it's just, I find it all too uh, hilarious. Gotta explain the science behind it. You can't just put two images up there. This is why we do demonstrations against Dark Star 9. We, got, we match our screens with something that's the same as ours. There's no point in me taking a a, a screen that's it's dark and doing a video on dark contrast and it's not it's an unfair demonstration now as you can see look 
there's more depth to the black screen but the white levels are going to be higher on a lighter screen demonstration right here all right now we're going to do contrast now you see the difference between the black screen the black screen contrast levels produces a higher black level than ace than the silver nano And this is the difference between the two. But when I see somebody doing demonstrations like this and they want to make it look like a wow factor, it's not a wow factor. It's basic common sense. <coughs> a black screen, excuse me, it's going to produce better contrast, but the white levels are going to be a little bit, uh, uh, white levels, on uh, white levels on a nano are not that low. They're actually pretty good. But the white screen is going to have better when it comes to white levels. A black screen is going to be better when it comes to contrast. All right. Everybody, a fair understanding. With technology, you have pros, you have cons. You have some technology can do one thing, another technology can do another thing. Now the technology, the, the, the brightness, people, you want a bright, vivid, white levels, is something that's your thing, then the nano silver is the way to go. If there are contrasts what you want, you want to mainly lean on more contrast, then the black nano is the way to go. Now let's get something that's going to be neutral. So my time runs out here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Believe it or not, I'm still going through this cold. I'm still going through it. Like literally, it is lingering on, man. Just does not want to let go. I think this might have been one of the worst colds I ever got in my entire life. Literally one of the worst colds I ever got in my entire life. Machine angle gain because like I said with the nano and a lot of the silver nano 
produces amazing um, um, white levels, like I said. And the black produces amazing white levels. But like I said, it has a bit of a silvery tone to it. Now watch. We'll go back here a minute, right there. Because <coughs> I've been saying that the entire time in my demonstrations that the black has a little bit of silvery tone to it. And it's just basic common sense one-on-one -on -one, that a silver screen is going to produce better white levels. Now look at this. That's how beautiful the white levels are. But they're going to be higher when it comes to a silver screen. The white levels are going to be higher on the silver screen. The black nano can produce a white level, a very good white level for a screen that's just dark. But when it comes to a silver screen, the nano silver, the nano silver is going to be higher. Alright, I'm going to take our nano silver, put it right here again. I love doing these. That's why I said, see how I'm doing this demonstration? This is what you call doing a thorough demonstration. You're explaining the difference between the two, the pros and cons between the two. That's what you have to do. Reds are going to be darker, reds are going to be lighter. Pause the video. the lights out because you know you're gonna get a few people and they're like okay I need you to turn the lights up please they're gonna be brighter but I have more depth more detail to it see where the nano silver nano is going to produce a whiter level I mean a, wi a whiter level the colors are going to be more brighter where the black screen is going to produce a darker contrast level the color is going to be a little more deeper a little bit more richer richer and there's going to be more detail into it because it is a black screen like I said you have to be to explain your technology clearly you can't just be mumbling a whole bunch of nonsense on on camera people can't really understand there's a science behind it all it's not to put anybody down to belittle anybody it's to show you how it's done I don't usually do these demonstrations but you know I decided to come out and just show you what we can do now let's grab something else one more all right for my time runs out here I'm Kenneth Berg from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using smart technology gain showing you the difference between the silver and the black nano screens also to show you how it's supposed to be properly done when you do a demonstration of a lighter screen versus a darker screen like I said it's just basic <coughs> common sense 101 that a silver screen or a lighter screen or a white sheet of paper is going to produce a better white level than a black screen where a black screen is going to produce better contrast than a silver a, or white screen but as you can see from the technology, it is very advanced for both screens. The silver screen, being as bright as it is, is able to produce an amazing picture in a fully lit room that does not wash out and doesn't fade because I see these demonstrations on these really light screens. And that's why they have to be done in the dark because the screen will wash out. In this demonstration, we have all our lights on. The screen looks fantastic. I'll knock out my lights. So you can see. And this is the difference between the two technologies. One is going to be to produce deeper and darker blues because it's black. 
That's why. Ugh. My light's on here. All right, let me go back a bit there. I don't know why that video was so freaking short. It should have been longer than that. All right, again, I gotta go. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. <coughs> bit of an educational video. I'm just showing you the difference between the two technologies. And like I said, anytime you see demonstrations like that and you see somebody trying to do a wow factor on their technology, if it's a darker screen versus a lighter screen or a lighter screen versus a darker screen, it's just basic common sense that the black screen is going to be able to produce better and darker uh, um, colors, better contrast levels than a lighter screen, where a lighter screen is going to be to produce a better white level because the screen is lighter. It's just basic common sense. But as you can see with our nanotechnology, the light screens, the silver screens have good contrast. They're able to produce an amazing picture in a fully lit environment. Here's a fully lit environment. This one, a lighter screen will fade easily. And then consider the fact that the, the black nano can produce deeper and darker contrast levels. And it's doing this in a fully lit environment. And our projector sits around 13 feet from the screen. Look at the angle gain on these screens. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. The Nanos launch on the 16th. We're taking pre-orders now on the website. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I gotta get back to work. All right, gotta go.